Hi Stampers, this is Kim with Great Inspirations. Thank you for joining me. This is the second week of my Stamp Happy Holidays series. And today I have some Christmas cards to share with you. Um, they all, they look very different, but they are all made using the same card base and it is a center step card base. So it's a little different from the card bases we usually make where we would take our card stock and fold it in half and then proceed to make the card. This just takes a little bit of cutting and then some scoring and folding and boom. You have a cute card, stands up just nicely like that. Also, if you open it up, it will also stand, well, it did stand. <laughs> It will stand like this. So I've used for these cards um, two stamp sets that are in the uh, Stampin' Up! July through December 2022 mini catalog. And these two I made using the All Bundled Up stamp set. It has four, or actually five images and three sentiments. It's feeling a lot like Christmas. Your friendship warms my heart. You're the coolest. And of course we have the little rabbit, a bird, a raccoon, a moose, and some snowflakes. Now this card I made using a stamp set called Yeti to Party. Here we have a Yeti. If you wanted to, you could make him a Bigfoot. And here are some mountains, a bird, a couple of packages, two snowflakes, an ice cream cone, a warm beverage, a Christmas tree, a heart, some banners, and then some sentiments. Get Yeti to party. It's your birthday. Is it Christmas Yeti? Winter wishes, then the and, and then holiday hugs. So as you can see this, can be for Christmas, for winter, or for birthdays. And both of these stamp sets I thought are just really cute and they're, you know, fun and whimsical. So if you have people on your holiday card list or um, on your birthday card list who enjoy fun and whimsical images, these sets might be for you. Now, I want to let you know something about this stamp set right here. Here's the card I made with it. And I just stamped directly on to my basic white thick card base. And I used Stampin' Blends, you know, alcohol markers, to color this in, forgetting that, oh my goodness, it's going to bleed through to the other side of the cardstock. So what I had to do was I cut another piece of basic white cardstock to fit in here, stamped the image again to just give it a little something and a good way to cover up my boo-boo there so there's that and I just thought oh it'd be really nice to have dyes this isn't that hard to fussy cut but boy it would be nice to have some dyes well guess what look there are dyes for this stamp set they're called the Yeti dyes and they will um, be coming out on the 1st of September but they will only be available for that month for the month of September and, <clears throat> excuse me, actually Stampin' Up! has six sets of dies coming out. It's a special uh, that they're running only in September. And those die sets match stamp sets that are in the current annual catalog and the current mini catalog. On my blog, there is a link to a flyer that will let you know just what stamp sets and dies are available. You can get them as a bundle, like I say, during September or you can buy simply the dies. So I just wanted to let you know about that, but isn't this just so cute? I mean, here are the pack, because see, I added more to him. <laughs> I added the packages and this little scarf. I'll show you the dies. Here they are. I believe there are 18 of them. And every image on the stamp set, every image has a die. 
me show you. I've cut the um, die cut some cardstock with the dies. See, as you can see, that's the hot beverage, the mountains, the snow caps on them, the little bird, the heart, and that's the banner. Um, that's the ice cream cone, the snowflakes, the little gifts, and the tree. And this is, of course, the Yeti. And this is a little scarf. There's no stamp for that. That's just a little extra die. And then there's a die that cuts out this, or you could use this for a window. And then I've stamped this Yeti and put this little die cut package in his arms because there is a die that simply cuts this little line. It fits right on his hand and it cuts that little line so you can slip something in there for him to carry. So those are just real cute little dies and something um, to look forward to come September. Now, I thought what we would do, I'm sure all of you can put together a card, figure out what you want to put on the front of your card and on the inside of your cards. So I thought I would just walk you through how to do a center step card. Many of you probably already know how, but there are several different sizes that you can make a side step card. You can make it to fit into um, larger envelopes than the A2 size, but I like this version because it does fit into the A2 size envelopes, which are the Stampin' Up! medium envelopes. There's my cute little moose, tis the season to be jolly. And then on the inside, it says Merry Christmas, and of course there's another little moose in there. And then here is a little raccoon that comes with it all bundled up. And some Christmas trees around him. These trees are from Trees for Sale stamp set that's in the current mini catalog. And then when you open it up, there's the raccoon again. Now all the supplies and all the um, measurements for these cards will be on my blog and there will be a link to that blog post in the description of this video. But let's get to making that card base. So I'm going to get my paper trimmer and so we need to do some cutting and scoring. So of course on the uh, Stampin' Up! Um, Stampin' Trimmer there are two blades. There's the cutting blade which is the darker one and there is the lighter one which is the scoring blade. So we'll be using both of those today. Well, actually, I'm going to use, to score, I'm going to use a stylus. It fits right down in here. And I'm, I'm only doing that because it's really hard for me to see when I'm doing the video where, the, where to um, score with, with this. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put the pa this paper, the cardstock, in along the five and a half inch side at the top there at one inch. I'm going to bring in my handy dandy piece of white cardstock so I can see my numbers. I know some people adhere that to the um, ruler over here. I just I just can't do that. I don't know why. I just can't. But anyway, we're going to cut from one and a half to five and a quarter. So we get down here to five to one and a half, and then we go all the way down to five and a quarter. Then we'll take this, well, maybe, there we go. <clears throat> There's our cut, and now I'm going to flip it. Put it in at one inch. Put my little white paper back in there. I'm going to go from one and a half again. One and a half five and a quarter and those are the only two um, places we need to cut now we're going to score so we're going to turn this along the eight and a half inch side and we're going to make sure we're down here where there's more space up here between the cardstock and the cut and there is down here. So where the, the side that there's the least amount of space before you get to that cut, you want to put right in here and put it at one and a half. Then we're going to close this up. And like I said, normally we, we would use this blade, but I'm going to use my stylus 
that one and a half, and we're just going to go in one inch. Okay, now I'm going to just flip my paper over again and do the same thing. One and a half. And here, or you can even go from one inch if you prefer inward. Basically what we're doing is we're just scoring from the outer edge of the cardstock right up to the score line. Outer edge of the cardstock right up to the score line. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, only we're going to put it in at two and a half inches. And put this down, like I say, one inch from right there, and then just flip it over, put it at two and a half, and do that again. Just one inch. Okay, now we're going to go to the five and a quarter. And do the same thing from there to one inch. And then we're going to turn it over, line it up at five and a quarter, there to one inch. Then we're going to move it to four and a quarter and look for your cut line and we're going to go from cut line to cut line. And that's all the scoring. Now we just have to fold. So we'd start down here and that's a mountain fold, which will make your one at two and a half a valley fold. Then the five and a quarter is a mountain fold. And then the four and a quarter is a mountain fold. You're gonna want a foam folder. So you can really put a good crease on those folds. And there you go. That is your center step card. That's all there is to it. And then you can add whatever you want, whether it be something from the all bundled up stamp set or the Yeti to party stamp set. And you'll have a cute card to send out to your friends, relatives, and neighbors. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, stamp happy.